why do you think that those that follow you do follow you? What is what is it in you that people see and enjoy? Do you think? So there there are two types of followers. Like the recent ones are mostly photographers because I do a lot of uh, uh, education stuff and content creating towards photographers. But on the art creating stuff, I feel like it's something they resonate with because I feel in wedding photography, mostly people just show beautiful people. And what I show is more than that. I could shoot many different size of people, very diverse, and they all look happy and they all look comfortable in their own skin. And that's that's probably why people resonate to my uh, photography. If you're shy, if you're maybe out of proportion, like uh, uh, body-wise, I still make them feel comfortable and feel great about themselves. And like 99% of my clients probably say, I, I'm very awkward and shy. I, I don't enjoy photographs. But when they finish a session with me, they can't believe that it's them in, in the pictures. Another thing, obviously I've done some research on you and looked through all of your, your content and stuff, which is fantastic. Um, something that kind of really took my interest was the way you say you maintain like a childlike sense of wonder in, in your photography and in, in your projects. I think that's really important these days to not essentially not take yourself too seriously, right? We, we as photographers, certainly in such a competitive industry with social media and validation and wanting to be seen and heard, we can sometimes get very overwhelmed with it and, and take it very seriously. How important is it for you to, to maintain that level of happiness and childlike status, which garners, I'm sure, curiosity, right? And that's what we want as photographers. How do you maintain that? And how do you, is, do you think that's important to encourage future generations and people which are starting in photography to do? For me, the most important thing that happens because I maintain this childlike, uh, what do you call it? Childlike uh, properties <laughs> is uh, the lo long longevity of my career. Because if I don't have this, this childlike uh, feature in me, I would just fade away. And that's what I see with most of, the photographers in my era where they just come and shoot and just be there to get the job done and not be and complain afterwards and just not be happy and that's that's where that's not where I want to be at I want to go to shoots and still be happy that's why I feel like photography for me is like a playground and because this is a playground I want to play with it I want to play with stuff I want to experiment I want to keep learning and keep experimenting and and just have a great time and that's uh that for me is important for the long longevity of my career i i feel fantastic and what is that longevity and future of career look like where do you want to get to and how do you want to evolve as a as a photographer so uh back in the day i shot a lot of weddings like maybe the the what do you call it? not the worst but the most I've done was eleven weddings in uh, eight weddings in eleven days, which is which is crazy. And after that, oh I my felt goodness. yeah, I felt that I don't want to do this anymore. I, I just want to shoot probably once a week, but I'm happy doing it, or even like once every two weeks. And this is where I I maintain the quality of my work and the quality of my life as well. So I try to do things full-heartedly, mindfully with each uh, job that I have. And that's that could happen also because of this childlike experience also where where I'm interest, actually interested, I'm actually excited, I'm actually want to do this. It's, it's like when you go to a wedding, it's not like, oh, it's another wedding. But, oh, yay, there's a wedding just next week. So that's the kind of mindset that I want. What is it that you are actually excited about, though? What is it about specifically photographs or wedding photography or whatever you're doing? What is it that you focus on that you, you what is it that drives you, essentially? Is it the output? Is it, I'm going to get some amazing images from this? Is it your experience? Is it just using a camera because you like the technical side of things? What, what is it? I know you're a commercial photographer and as a commercial photographer, sometimes you need to concept everything. You need to have a solid pre-production before a shoot. For me, wedding, you don't need that because on the day itself, you don't know what happens and the surprises, the spontaneity, it's what excites me. And 
similar to street photography, when you go shooting street, you don't know what the results would be at the end of the day. And that's that surprise is sort of your prize at the end of the shoot. And that's, for me, wedding is very similar in that sense. 